here. Today we're going to be doing a primitive uh, door hanging with this really cute um, coffee bag that I got picked up at a store that I went into for two dollars. It's made out of burlap with a black stamp on it. Um, Tiffany's uh, coffee and I really thought it was cute. This lid is from a hat box or a cheese box depending on what you want to call it um, not really sure I got the uh, lid separate for a buck or two from Goodwill it was just sitting on the shelf and I thought well we'll take that and do something with it and today we're gonna do something with it so here I'm just taking some antique wax watered down and I'm basically staining and sealing this piece. I'm cutting down the front of the Tiffany Gourmet coffee bag and I'm rolling down the top to make a nice uh, edge and I'm stapling it to the side. And the top isn't going to matter where I staple it because I'm going to do something over the front of it or yeah around the back to the front of it and you're not going to be able to see the staples but I wanted a nice edge um, to look like a roll down sack kind of on this hanging So I'm basically fitting it so the Tiffany's Gourmet coffee is on the front, in the center, and I'm gluing down the rolls, and then I'm slowly just going around and stapling all the edges around the back. Now this back piece is going to end up getting um, painted, but I didn't do it this time. I will go back and do it after and trim up everything. I cut two strips of this homespun checked material because I didn't have uh, any material long enough to go around my project and glued the two ends together to make it a little longer so it would go around and make a bow. So I glued it on. And I'm wrapping around. This is why I didn't mind the staples being out on the sides because they would be covered up by the material. So I made a bow and now here I'm just using some of that nautical rope. It's the darker colored nautical rope and I'm putting it on the back as a hanger. And then of course I have some pit berries. It wouldn't be a primitive project without my pit berries. So I have three sets of these pit berries that I purchased uh, I think at a flea market and I don't remember how much because the tag was gone but uh, I really like the coloring in it so I grabbed all three of them and stuck them in and just fluffed them around made them look nice. I decided that it was a little too sunk in on the front, so I took some tissue paper that I had and I stuffed it in there to lift that front up so that it would stand out and be a little more full looking. And then you could read the Tiffany's Gourmet Coffee sign a little bit better on the front. And I thought that helped make it look better. So I'm just fluffing everything up here and just giving it a look over what else I want to do. And there it is. So I'm going to add this burgundy star to the front in my little pocket. And 
and I think that just looks so cute. Project number two is the bottom of a tin can. So we started with the top of a box. Now we're doing the bottom of a tin cookie holder or a cookie tin. And we are taking mineral chalk paint from Waverly and we're doing, it's going to be uh, all said and done, it will be two coats um, on it. I dry in between do two coats so I'm doing the inside and the outside and I didn't do the very bottom because it will be wrapped in some remaining burlap so you won't see it at all so I didn't bother wasting any paint and doing that and then it gave me a place to hold the tin while I painted so here I'm making some white wax because I still haven't bought any so I'm using white paint and clear wax and I'm taking about a tablespoon of clear wax in my cup and I'm going to take about a half a teaspoon of the white Waverly paint to mix it in to make my white. This isn't a perfect recipe or the actual recipe, this is just something that I um, made up because I didn't have any white wax so you just give it a good stir and then you brush it on and again because you don't want to reactivate that chalk paint you want to make sure that you try not to go over the same spot too too many times because it will reactivate and take that chalk paint off so this will actually um, give it a softer gray color and will also seal your project because you don't want the paint to come off especially this metal tin it will stick well but you want to make sure that you seal it and so I put it on and then just wipe it back and there we go so now I'm putting a bead of glue on to the top edge of the burlap that I'm going to put on to my tin. I just want a nice non-frayed edge to make it look nice. And then I'm going to place this on the third, one third of the tin. I was just showing you the thirds. So um, on the third of the tin I'm going to put it up. There we go. I'm just gluing it down so basically we're making another pocket in this tin for some plants or whatever we decide to put in there so I'm gluing the sides and all the way around and I'm going around the back and again no I did not paint the back I'm going to this one I show you actually at the end of it what I do um, after I wrap all my burlap around and get everything on I have another extra piece of burlap that I will use to cover the back. So I'm trimming down the bottom a little bit and I'm going to fold it kind of like a package to get that bottom nice and looking neat. I'm just bringing everything in on the side so they don't stick out and then 
if it hangs on the wall, you don't have um, pieces bunching up and making it hang weird either. So there you go. Maybe you can see that. So I wrapped it basically like a package on the bottom. It came out actually pretty good. And just glue, glue, and more glue. And it'll stay. Okay, so I have two different rolls of burlap. I have the burlap that I'm holding right there with the same color burlap that I have on the tin and then this one has the lighter color. I like the lighter color. It gives a little bit of contrast. Really what I want is the lace on it to make it look kind of feminine um, and dainty. So I went with this one because I like the contrast of it. And basically I'm just making a pretty little bow on the front. And I tie it around and fluff it up, and maneuver it around the way I want. And then I take more of that um, rope, nautical rope I guess, um, and make a little hanger in the back with it. And I give it a good bunch of extra glue just to hold it. So here it is, I cut an extra, well I had an extra piece, I didn't have to cut very much. And um, I just glued it onto the back to cover it up to give it a more finished look on there. And here we go. guys I hope you liked my two projects if you haven't already please like share and subscribe and have a great day have you heard about the giveaway on this chicken right here go down to this video watch the video do all the instructions and you could win once we hit 300 subscribers